Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In previous video, we understood how do we expose our Salesforce org data to the external system so that the external system will be able to fetch the data from the Salesforce. But now in this video, we are going to understand how to put the data from the external system to our own Salesforce org. So basically what we are going to do is there would be an external system. In our case, it would be Workbench. It will put the data, it will throw the data uh, to our Salesforce org and automatically the data will be inserted in our Salesforce org. But before that, if I am able to help you out or you are able to understand what Salesforce is and integration is from my videos, please do subscribe to our channel. So let's jump back to our video. So our main goal over here is that I want to put the data from the external system to our Salesforce org. Now to do that, first I'll move to my developer console. So to do that, first to get the data, like to expose the data to the external system, use HTTP GET annotation. But if I want that, whatever the data that is being sent by the external system should we get inserted inside my Salesforce org, I will use HTTP POST. I am going to create a contact. Now last name is a required field inside the contact and I am going to take the input from the external system. So I am going to pass a parameter in this case. Also, I'm going to print the name of the user or the contact that I've just created. Okay, it must be declared as global. So my method is ready. So all I need to do is I need to call this method from the external system and I need to pass the name of the contact that I need to create. So I'll go to the workbench, which is my external system right now. I'm going to go to the rest explorer and inside that I need to give, I need to remove this two. First of all, I need to post, right? My method that I'm going to use is post. So I'm going to use select the post for a radio button and then apex rest slash Our URL mapping. Yeah, that's it. And then inside the request body, I need to pass the parameters to whatever I need to create. So for an example, I need to pass the name, right? So I need to give curly braces and in single quotes, the same way the parameter name is, I need to copy it and need to paste it. Name colon Salesforce integration five minutes so i have provided the name that i need to create the contact with so once i click on execute let's see what happens so the response is 200 this means the record was created successfully see inside the log as i have uh, debug the data whatever the contact is created contact created is con that is this contact i'm just going to go to this id So as you all can see, Salesforce integration five minutes user contact is automatically created from the external system. So this is how you create a data from the external system. So let's say, but right now I have passed only one parameter and if I, what if I have to pass two parameters? So in that case, you just go give comma string, let's say email and then con dot email equals to email that I have. This is fine. This is just like a normal function. But how do we pass the data from the external system? Let's see. Now to do that, you just need to give comma 
in single quotes write email see sf five minutes at the gmail dot com and now I'm going to give it some other name five minutes new part two and I'm going to click on execute so let's see what happens again the response code is 200 let's go to the log and check See, SF five minutes at the gmail.com Salesforce integration new part two is automatically created from the external system inside our Salesforce. Org. But keep this in mind: you need to use HTTP POST annotation, HTTP patch, and HTTP. Uh, there are different types of annotation to put the data or to update the data inside our Salesforce. Org. If you found this video helpful and you were able to learn something, please do subscribe to our channel.